You know, Willie, what's so, what is so shocking about this is the very conversations that we have with our friends, our acquaintances, members of our family that we've had over the past six months when we're like, give me the evidence. Mm -hmm. and, and it's the same thing. And they, they go to uh, Chinese religious cult uh, con conspiracy websites, or they talk about bamboo, or they talk about the lie, which has already been been disproven about uh, people in Georgia. Gra I mean, they go through all of these idiot responses that have nothing to do with the facts. Giuliani could never present any evidence to any of the judges in any of the courts. And you can even talk to lawyers that have bought into this conspiracy theory. And they're like, eh, I, I, I don't know. I don't. 62 courts have said there's no evidence there. Even the Supreme Court of the United States of America, a 6-3 Trump court, mm -hmm. said the same thing. Even Thomas and Alito, out on the far, far right, said on the Pennsylvania challenge, listen, there's not enough votes to overturn this election, but we should probably take this case on and just try to interpret what happens when a state Supreme Court uh, overrules a state legislature. I mean, just, just facts and evidence uh, all lining up that this was a fair election. It's overwhelming. And what's shocking is that the idiots that run these conspiracy websites, um, basically, those were the type of people that Donald Trump surrounded himself with. And make no mistake, we talk about forum shopping for judges. As lawyers, you're trying to find the right judge, and so you're forum shopping. Here, Donald Trump was forum shopping to get the right idiots, Lunatic wackos, shopping. lunatics, uh, and insurrectionists in front of him in the White House. And it was hard. It was hard to find people as freaking crazy as Sidney Powell. It was hard to find somebody as debased morally as Rudy Giuliani. It was hard finding these crackpots that were so desperate to be around a president that they were willing to overthrow the United States government. But Donald Trump found them. And that's because, Joe, reality had settled over the White House. The people who understood, whether it was Pat Cipollone or even Attorney General Barr, all the people we've heard from during these hearings who said, OK, we knew now the jig is up. It's over. There's no evidence. Mm -hmm. It's time to move on. And so in come the QAnon conspiracy theorists. Here comes Sidney Powell. Here comes, as Pat Cipollone called him, the overstock person. Uh, that <laughs> Mr. Pillow calling for martial law as he came into the White House. I mean, think about that sacred sanctum that is the Oval Office and think about the collection of rogues and fools and conspiracy theorists that got to sit at the Resolute desk and talk to the President of the United States to help plot a coup, including seizing voting machines. It's it's outrageous and a lot of it is criminal, as, as we're going to find out. And Ben, you live in this universe online of, of these QAnon people. So just if you can just speak to a little bit of who Sidney Powell was in that world, who she remains to this day, General Flynn, and why Donald Trump called on them in this moment. Sure, I think it's impossible to separate that inner circle from QAnon as a premise in those days. That's what was going on. When, when Joe just talked about forum shopping, he was probably literally forum shopping. And one of those forums, you know, message boards he wound up on was 8chan. Uh, Jim Watkins, who ran, ran 8chan or 8con, um, after um, he, yesterday, he testified at that, at that hearing. Um, but he was posting all of these insane things, and his son was too, and the president was retweeting them. Things about, you know, Italian, Italians taking over yeah. the, the, the satellites. They, they, the satellites yeah. Yeah. they were running out of countries to blame this on by the end of it. And that's, that's really not even a joke. They're just running out of enemies. They were like Hugo Chavez, obviously a dead person they were blaming for this whole thing. Mm. They were all in one space together. This was a purely QAnon cooked up conspiracy theory. And they weren't coming from traditional like right wing websites. These were random anonymous posters on places like 4chan that were picked up uh, by influencers like the My Pillow guy, like Mike Lindell, who was tweeting them in the middle of the night in the days before January 6th. We, we were run as a country for like a week and a half uh, from an intelligence standpoint by a group of QAnon people and extremists.